Um, how big a relief was that in the dressing room to get the, the first win under the belt? Massive. Yeah, I think the last couple of games we haven't sort of uh, gelled well as a team and I think uh, our bowling performance there was outstanding and batting towards the end. Nice to get us over the line and, um, and yeah, get the first win on the board and hopefully we can take that momentum in the next few games. We were talking upstairs about um, if, if there was a man of the match award, who, who it would go to. And it, it's surely a good sign that we went through so many names of North Hampshire players that actually contributed today. Yeah, for sure. Like I said, we all gelled well as a team. I think the last game, obviously, we played at home. We, we did the complete opposite. So it was, uh, it was nice. It was good fielding performance, good bowling, and, and we finished off with the bat quite comfortably there. So it's nice to get over the line. Like I said, hopefully we can take that into uh, the next few weeks. We'll talk about some of the, the highlights of today in, in a second, but you'll have been aware that obviously there's a, some fairly vitriolic criticism uh, coming out over the last two games, which obviously is very disappointing for all supporters. To what extent w w was the team stung by that? You must have been aware that, that a lot of people have been saying, you know, what on earth's going on? Yeah, obviously it's, it is quite annoying. Um, like I said, we haven't played very well as a team, um, but it's nice to sort of uh, shut up a few haters, I guess, after today. And uh, I think there's quite a few people uh, expecting us to lose again, uh, which is a bit of a shame. But you know, all we can do is perform as best as we can, and, and hopefully we can uh, we can turn those haters into uh, into our own fans. So yeah, lots to talk about today, and lots of really good points to talk about today. I think possibly one of the key uh, aspects of the game was just coming out of the power play in the Derbyshire innings. That those first three overs out of the power play, six runs, two wickets. Courtesy of two of the, in fact, the two youngest players in the side, James Sales and Freddie Heldrick. Both of them bowl very, very well. I think junior James Sales, you know, he's he's come on leaps and bounds um, over the last couple of years, and um, he's he's a great asset for us. Don't forget, he can also bat as well. So, and he's a very, very good fielder. So he's he's got a bright future ahead of him, and hopefully, he can contribute to a few more wins for us. And bringing Freddie Heldrick into the side uh, just gave that little bit of variety into the attack that, that maybe you've been missing for the first couple of games. Yeah, for sure. I mean, when Freddie gets it right, I mean, he's, he's very, very hard to play. I mean, facing him in the net, um, most of the time he's, he's pretty tough. Um, I thought he bowled really well, started off really well. He was a little bit unlucky at times. Um, you know, Madsen, probably one of the best players that's been in the country, uh, got a bit of hold of him, but um, I thought for his first sort of outing, he, he did very, very well. Then at the start of the chase, obviously an early wicket, and then David Willey and Chris Lynn both made to work hard, but put together a, a very important partnership to get Northamptonshire on track. Yeah, I mean we, we spoke about um, you know taking ownership of, uh, of our own wicket, and uh, two of our most experienced players, you know, you could see that in, in the way they played. It's not their usual style, you know, trying to whack it, uh, you know, sixes and fours, but um, they played the situation and you know got us off to a decent start and. Um, you know, gave myself and, and Louis to come in and Cobby as well, sort of come in and um, add a little bit of uh, extra, you know, a, extra little bit of um, variety, as I, as I want to say. But, um, but yeah, it was, it, was, it was very, very mature of them, you know, to, to give us that start. You made the point about taking ownership there, and after the fall of, of Josh Cobb's wicket, one or two of us upstairs getting just a little bit anxious, but um, Lewis McManus, again, all the experience yourself saw it through in the end fairly comfortably two overs to spare yeah I'm not gonna lie I was very very nervous you know obviously being out there and um, you know haven't felt that t20 sort of buzz in, in, in quite a while sort of you know that nerve-wracking sort of chase but um, it was nice to get over the line and have that sigh of relief at the end of the game and uh, Louis is awesome to sort of talk to and um, in those type of situations and hopefully we can we can win a few more games this year um, me and him and um, and yeah, well, it was a good start today, and hopefully we can we can build on it. Uh, it's one of the great truisms of, of this competition that you know the games come thick and fast. Two days time, the Bears they've turned over Lancashire today fairly comfortably. Um, they they don't get any easier the games, do they? I mean, there, there's a, there is a very good, um, very very good teams in this comp, comp especially in our group. So um, I, I still feel if we play our best cricket like we did today, we can turn over any team. So you know we've we've given the Bears the run for their money the last few years as well. So um, hopefully we can do that on Wednesday and put on a show for our home fans. Well done, safe. Thank you.